Hey everyone, today I'm diving deep into the chilling whispers of history exploring 10 small towns in Libya with spine-tingling secrets. Are you ready to uncover the hidden darkness lurking beneath the surface? Let's get started. First up is the ancient town of Gadames. Known as the Pearl of the Desert, this place is not just beautiful, it's shrouded in myths of vanished travelers who dared to explore its forbidden zones. Locals whisper about spectral figures seen wandering near the old city at night. Could these be the lost souls of the past? Moving on, we find Tokra, a town rich with archaeological treasures and, you guessed it, eerie legends. Here, archaeologists have stumbled upon more than just relics. Unexplained phenomena and ghost sightings are frequent among the ruins. What ancient spirits might be guarding these grounds? Next is the coastal town of Derna. With its turbulent history as a battleground, Derna is said to house the restless spirits of warriors. The locals avoid certain alleys at night where the sounds of ancient battles echo against the stones. In the heart of the desert lies Jalu. Known for its oasis, it's also a site for chilling sightings. Travelers have reported seeing mirages that turn into horrifying visions, revealing tragic events from decades ago. What truth lies behind these visual tricks? Albeda may seem calm, but beneath its serene exterior lies a chilling secret. It's rumored that in certain ancient buildings, people have heard cries and whispers from the walls. Investigations have never explained these auditory hauntings. Is it the wind or voices from the beyond? In Muzuk, the dark tales revolve around the castle that dominates the skyline. It's said to be cursed, with many who've entered in search of treasures never to return. Could there be a protector of these ancient riches? Gut, nestled in the mountains, has tales of creatures seen in the shadows. Not just any creatures, but those resembling the descriptions from old Libyan folklore. Creatures of the night that prey on the unwary. Benghazi, a city of revolution, carries its own set of ghost stories, especially in the older quarters where the war has left its scars. These areas seem to pulsate with an unsettling energy as if the past refuses to be forgotten. Saba's story is not for the faint-hearted. Here the desert encroaches on the town, and with it comes whispered tales of a wandering spectre seen on the darkest nights, searching, always searching for something unknown. Finally, we visit Zuara, where the sea whispers old tales. Fishermen talk of an ancient call that leads them into deep waters, never to be seen again. What calls to them from the depths? These towns are not just dots on a map. They are a mosaic of chilling tales and unsolved mysteries. Do you dare to explore these stories further? Or does the thought alone send shivers down your spine? Thanks for joining me on this eerie journey through Libya's most mysterious towns. Until next time, stay curious and perhaps a little